Magandang buhay at naritong muli ang inyong matinikat ang musikero upang magbahagi na naman ng kaalaman sa larangan ng matematika. Ang ating pag-uusapan, Geometry of Plane Surfaces Part 3, Areas of Plane Surfaces. Pero bago natin simula ng ating sesyon, kung pwede lang, subscribe na muna ng ating channel, pakipress ng notification bell. Nang sa gayon ay lagi po kayong updated sa aming mga videos. Ngayon naman ay maaari na nating simula ng ating diskusyon. At ating uumpisaan, ating pag-uusapan, area and perimeter of a rectangle. At siyempre ito ang ating figure para sa ating rectangle. Kung saan ang rectangle ay may area na A is equal to L times W. At siyempre ito ang mga dimensions ng ating rectangle. Para sa width nito, it is represented by capital letter W. Para naman sa length, capital letter L. Siyempre, ito ngayon ang formula ng area ng ating rectangle. Area is equal to length times width. Formula for the perimeter of the rectangle, P is equal to 2L plus 2W. Kung saan ang ibig sabihin ng mga variables na yan ay ang mga sumusunod. A is equal to the area of the rectangle, P, perimeter of the rectangle, L, length of the rectangle, and W as the width of the rectangle. Ngayon naman ay maaari na tayong mag-solve ng mga worded problem. Para sa ating example number one, the length of serious banner is 32 square feet. If the length of his banner measures 8 feet, how wide is his banner? Para sa ating solusyon, Unang given natin, the area is 32 square feet at ang length naman ng ating banner, ang banner ni Sergio is 8 feet. Since ang formula ng area is equals to length times width, ang magiging formula natin sa paghanap natin ng width is equal to A over L. Direct substitution, 32 divided by 8 is equal to 4 feet. So ang width natin is 4 feet, yan ang dimension ng width ng banner ni Sergio. The serious banner now is 4 feet wide. Let us now proceed to our example number 2. The perimeter of a rectangular pool is 56 meters. If the length of the pool is 16 meters, then find its width. Para sa ating solusyon, the perimeter and the length of the rectangular pool are given to find the width of the pool. Ang perimeter natin is 56 meters. At ang length naman nito is 16 meters. The perimeter P of a rectangle is given by the formula P is equal to 2L plus 2W. It is actually na-discuss ko kanina yan at na-introduce ang formula ng perimeter wherein L is the length and W is the width of the rectangle. Direct substitution, 56 is equal to 2 times 16 plus 2W. Ngayon naman ay ating hahanapin ang value ng W. Simplify natin ang ating given equation. 56 is equal to 32 plus 2W. And then W is actually equal to 12 meters. Ang ibig sabihin niyan, ang width ng ating rectangular pool is equal to 12 meters. Let us now proceed to example number 3. Find the area of a rectangle of length 78 millimeters and width of 26 millimeters. So napakasimple lang yan. Para sa ating solusyon, ang length given natin is 78 millimeters, ang width is 26 millimeters, the area is equal to length times W equal to 78 times 26, at ang ating final answer, area of the rectangle is 2,028 square millimeters. For example number four, The area of a rectangle is 48 square centimeters. If its width is 6 centimeters, then find its length. Solution natin. Ang ating unang given, area is 48 square centimeters. Para sa ating width, 6 centimeters. Ang pinapaanap ay ang length ng ating rectangle. Length now is equal to A over W. Direct substitution, 48 divided by 6 is equal to 8 centimeters. Ang ibig sabihin ng length ng ating rectangle, ang sagot, 8 centimeters. Para naman sa ating panglimang alimbawa, 
how many pieces of stone slabs it's 26 centimeter long and 10 centimeter broad will be required to lay a path of 260 meters long and 15 meters wide. Para sa ating solusyon, for each stone slab, length is 26 centimeters and the width or breadth is 10 centimeters. Therefore, the area of a slab is equal to length times width equals 26 centimeter times 10 centimeters equals to 260 square centimeters. Para naman sa ating pat, length is equal to 260 meters at ang width is 15 meters. Therefore, the area of the pat is equal to 260 times 15. Kaya nga lang, kailangan nating may convert ang square meters sa square centimeters kung kaya at kailangan natin i-multiply ito ng 10,000 square centimeters para ang ating sagot na square meters ay may convert na kaagad sa square centimeters. Bakit? Kasi ang area of the slab is nasa square centimeters. Kailangan paraw sila ng unit para maanap natin ang number of pieces of stone slab na kakailanganin natin para sa ating given problem. Therefore, the required number of slabs, the area of path divided by the area of each slab. Direct substitution. 260 times 15 times 10,000, then to be divided by 260. Ang ating answer, 150,000 slabs will be required. At yan ngayon ang kasagutan para sa ating PIP example. Then proceed tayo. Ay naman ay ating pag-uusapan ng area and circumference of circle. Formula, para sa area ng circle, area is equal to pi r square or a is equal to pi d square over 4. Para sa circumference ng ating circle, C is equal to 2 pi r. Diameter naman, D is equal to 2 r. Kung saan ang ibig sabihin ng bawat variable na nakikita natin, ang A, area of the circle, R stands for the radius of the circle, D, diameter of the circle, and C, circumference of the circle. Pag-usapan naman natin ngayon ang area and perimeter of a semicircle. Formula, the area of semicircle, A is equal to pi r square over 2 kung ating gagamitin ng radius. Pangalawa, ang area ng semicircle, pi d square over 8 kung gagamitin natin given is the diameter of our semicircle. Perimeter of semicircle, P is equal to pi r plus 2r. Kung saan ang ibig sabihin ng bawat variable sa na nakita natin o nabasa natin, A, area of the semicircle, R, radius of the semicircle, D, diameter of the semicircle, P, perimeter of semicircle. Now, pag-usapan naman natin ngayon ang area ng sector. Yan ang figure ng ating sector. Kung saan ay makikita natin ang central angle na may simbol na theta, at ang radius na R ng area of the sector natin. Ang formula, if the angle theta is measured in degrees, then the formula that we will use is area of the sector A is equal to pi R squared theta over 360. If the central angle theta is measured in radians, then our formula will be area of the sector A is equal to R squared theta all over 2. Kung saan ang ibig sabihin ng R, radius of the circle. At ang A naman is the area of the sector. Siyempre ang theta, yan ang ating central angle ng ating given figure ng sector. The area of the segment naman, yan ang representasyon ng figure ng ating segment. At ang formula na ating gagamitin, A is equals to 1 up times theta minus sine theta times the square of R. Kung saan ang ibig sabihin ng theta, 
angle measurement in radians. R, radius of the segment, and A naman as the area of the segment. Madako naman tayo sa usapin regarding about the area of the ellipse. Yan ang figure ng ating ellipse. The formula for the area of the ellipse, A is equal to pi AB. Kung saan ang ibig sabihin ng mga variables ang A, area of the ellipse, A, horizontal distance from point to center, at ang B naman, vertical distance from point to center. Length of an arc. Yan ang representasyon ng ating length of an arc na may symbol na S sa ating figure. Note, an arc is a section of the circumference of a circle. Formula, para sa ating length of an arc, S is equal to R theta. Kung saan ang ibig sabihin ng mga variables, R, radius of the circle, S, length of an arc, theta, angle produced by an arc in Regions. Para sa ating pangalim na alimbawa regarding about the areas of plane surfaces, an architect is making a plan for a new circular playground. If the picture below is the playground, how much fencing needs to go up to keep the kids in the circle? Uh, wala siya sa below, nasa side pa lang ang ating figure. Yan ang ating figure na may diameter na 64 meters ang ating bilog. Para sa ating solusyon, given natin, diameter is 64 meters. Para makalculate natin ang radius, kailangan natin ng formula na R is equal to D over 2. Then ang ating radius, para maanap natin, i-divide lamang natin ng 2 ang ating diameter. So we have it as 64 divided by 2 equals 32 meters. Ngayon e naman ay atin ng kalkulain ang ating circumference. Circumference is equal to 2 pi r. Equal 2 pi times 32 dahil nahanap natin ang value ng ating radius na 32. Ang ating circumference value, 201.06 meters. Thus, the circumferential value of the pens is 201.06 meters. At yan ngayon ang kasagutan para sa ating example number 6. Example number 7. The circumference of a circle is 36.31 meters. What is the exact length of the radius? Para sa ating solusyon, circumference C is equal to 36.31 meters bilang ating given. Radius now can be calculated by this formula. R is equal to C all over 2 pi. Then direct substitution, 36.31 divided by 2 pi equals 5.78 meters. Thus, the exact value of the radius is 5.78 meters. Example number 8. A bicycle trail in the shape of a circle has a radius of 3 miles. Mike bike around the trail four times. About how far did Mike bike? Solution natin. Ang radius is equal to three miles. Number of round is four times. N is equal to four. C is equal to two pi r. Now equal to two pi times three dahil ang value ng r is equal to three. Ang ating circumference 18.85 miles. And C is equal to 4 times 18.85. Kailangan natin i-multiply ng 4 ang 18.85 miles kasi nakaapat na round si Mike. Ang ating palalang sir, 75.40 miles. Does Mike bike around the trail 4 times equals to 75.40 miles? Example number nine, if A is six centimeter and B is seven centimeter, find the area of the ellipse. Solution, ang ating formula sa area ng ellipse, A is equal to pi AB. Direct substitution, A is equal to pi times six times seven. Ang ating area, thus the area of the ellipse equals to 131.98. 
square centimeters. Example number 10. Calculate the area of the ellipse where the major radius is 4 centimeters and minor radius is 3 centimeters. Solution, ang ating mga given, A is equal to 4 and B is equal to 3. Ang area ng ellipse natin, ang formula natin, A is equal to pi AB. Direct substitution, A is equal to pi times 4 times 3. At ang ating sagot para sa area ng ellipse, 37.68 square centimeters. Thus, the area of the ellipse is equal to 37.68 square centimeters. Example number 11. Given a circle with a radius of R is equal to 8 units and a sector with subtended angle measuring 45 degrees, find the area of the sector. Solution, ang radius ng ating bilog R is equal to 8 units. Second given, subtended angle. Theta is equal to 45 degrees or pi over 4 radians kung yan ay ating i-convert sa pi radian unit. Ang area of the sector formula natin, area is equal to R squared theta all over 2. Dahil yan ang formula na ating gagamitin, kailangan gamitin nating central angle ay ang nakakonvert sa pi radian, ang pi over 4 radian. So direct substitution, 8 squared times pi over 4 all over 2 ang ating sagot, 8 pi square units. Thus, the area of the sector is 8 pi square units. Example number 12, given a sector with radius of r is equal to 3 centimeters and a corresponding arc length of pi, pi regions, find the area of the sector. Solution, S is equal to R theta, wherein S is equal to pi pi and R is equal to 3 centimeters. Ang theta natin ay may formula ngayon na S over R. Direct substitution, pi pi all over 3. And then direct substitution tayo sa area ng sector natin na R squared theta all over 2. Ang ating equation, the square of 3 times pi pi all over 3 all over 2. Ang ating final answer, 15 pi over 2 square units. Thus, the area of the sector is 15 pi all over 2 square units. Example number 13, find the area of the segment as shown below. So, yan ang figure ng ating segment ngayon. At ipinapahanap dito ang area of the segment na naka-highlight na kulay blue. So, paano natin kakalkulayin ang area ng segment? Ito ngayon ang solusyon natin. Una sa lahat, kailangan muna natin alamin ang area ng sector natin. Ang area ng sector natin is calculated as 192 pi. Ang ginamit nating formula ay yung formula ng sector na Pi R squared theta all over 360. Dahil ang angle na gagamitin natin is naka-express in degree measures which is actually 120 degrees. After ng calculation ng area ng sector, proceed naman tayo sa area ng triangle. Pero kailangan muna natin ikat ang ating triangle. So ikakat natin yan dito sa person na yan, makakabutay ng dalawang right triangle. So ito yung isang right triangle natin. Dahil kinat natin ang ating triangle sa ating figure, from, 20, from 120 degrees, ang angle, ang angle niyan is magiging 60 degrees na lang. Siyempre, mariritin ang 24, hindi naman mababago ang sukat niyan. Ang height ng ating rectangle represented by X at ang, at ang uh, width naman ito, ang base natin ay minus Y. So ang height is X at ang base nito is Y. So alamin natin ngayon ang value ng x and y. Since wala pa tayo sa area na rectangle, gagamit muna tayo ng scientific calculator para makalkulate ang value ng x and y. So una sa lahat, gamit ang inyong calculator. I think Casio yan, no? mas maganda kung Casio. Kung Casio yan, ganito ang gagawin natin. Press shift. And then press the minus sign. Ang ibig sabihin kapag prinas ang minus sign, gagamitin natin ang second function nito na rect. And then press 24, press shift, 
And then, pindutin ng parenthesis na pasara. Ibig sabihin yan, gagamitin natin ang second function nito na kama. And then, press 64. 64 nga ba? No, it's not 64. So, we correct it. This must be 60. Yan. 60 yan. Kasi wala namang 64 eh. 60 yung given natin na angle doon, no? Then, press close. At ang lilitaw sa ating calcule, yan. Ang value ng x natin is equal to 12, but ang value naman ng y na base natin is 20.7840. At dahil dyan, ito na ngayon muli ang ating triangle originally na may 120 degrees as central angle. Ang height ng ating triangle sa ating nakalkula, kung ang height dito is x, nakakuha tayo ng 12, definitely ang height din dito is also 12. Pero ang width natin is actually, dodobli natin ang value ng y dito. So 2y. Ang value ng 2y natin is 24 square root of 3. Kapag ang 20.78 ay ating multiply ng 2, yan ay katumbas lamang ng 24 square root of 3. So, yan lang ngayon ang base ng ating triangle. Hindi ba't ang area ng triangle, kahit hindi ko pa na i-discuss, one half times base times the height. So, kalkulay na natin ang area ng ating triangle. Ang 24 square root of 3 ay ang base at ang 12 naman ay ang height. So, i-divide natin ang 2. Ang area ng ating triangle is 144 square root of 3. Ngayon ay maaari na nating kalkulayin ang area ng ating segment. Ang area ng ating segment is equal to area 1 minus area 2. Area of a sector minus the area of the triangle. So A1 minus A2 equals 192 pi minus 144 square root of 3 ang ating sagot. 353.8 square units. Thus, the area of the segment is 353.8 square units. At yan ngayon ang ating sagot sa ating example number 13. Hanggang sa muli, maraming salamat po. Papuri sa Diyos magpakailanman. Mabuhay ang bawat kabataang Pilipino. Maraming salamat po.